also known as Boxing Day. We do hope uh, wherever you are, you are now opening up your gift as this particular day is meant for that. Over and above that, we shall be giving you the latest from the business world and just taking you through some of the interesting aspects happening across the country. We'll be linking up with Francis Mtalaki just to pick what's happening in the coastal town of Mombasa and how are people spending the holidays. We'll also be linking up with Elvis Kosge who will be giving us an update where he will be speaking to the Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich. All that in the next one hour. But first, Let's start you off with uh, some positive news where the economy is expected to rebound in early January as Kenya heads into the new year. According to Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich, key economic fundamentals were in place, citing better prospects come 2018. Kenya's economy has had a turbulent run, mainly linked to farming and a prolonged electioneering period that has the country revised its growth targets. Inaendelea kukua. Um, Bila mnajua 2017 ilikuwa mwaka ile ilikuwa na maneno mengi. Uh, tulianza na ukame. Alafu mambo ya siasa ikachukua muda. Tukafanya um, chogusi mara mbili. Na hiyo ndio ili uh, tupatia kasi mingi katika hali ya kukuza uchumi. Uh, hasa upande wa uh, ushuru ilienda chini kwa sababu wana biashara walikuwa na shughuli ya election baka ba biashara ikaenda chini kidogo ushuri ikaenda chini na ikatupatia changamoto katika bajeti ya kwanza ya supplementary vile tulianza ku, kukata kufanya ile inaitwa austerity measures ili tuweze tuendelee na tu fund uchaguzi ya pili lakini hiyo imepita sasa za mambo ya uchaguzi eh, rais uhuru ameapishwa na sasa tunaangalia 2018 na wana biashara sasa wanataka kurudi kazini eh, kwa haraka na of course december ni wakati wa kupumzika lakini tunatarajia 2018 watu wataanza na ile high note kwa sababu 2017 tulichukua muda mingi katika mambo ya siasa lakini natarajia 2018 will be a bright year na sisi tutaendelea ku hakikisha eh, eh, kwamba tuna eh, eh, kuza uchumi vile rais ametangaza katika eh, ile inauguration vitu ine eh, itakuwa focus eh. mambo ya universal health care mambo ya housing mambo ya uh, manufacturing ndio tutafute kazi kwa vijana na food security hizo vitu ine ndio vitu uh, inye tuki focus naye tutaweza kupanua uchumi na vijana wapate kazi ndio labda mwisho waziri tutamatisha huko wakenya wengi wanaweza kusherekea najua kwamba tumekuwa tuki uh, zingatia mambo kama utalii na mambo kama hayo na tunaona mazingira hali ya utulivu imerejea je hii ina maana kwamba tunakoelekea ni sawa na je kuna nambari yote labda wasema kwamba uh, kiwango ama idadi yenyewe ilikuwa imefikia hapa lakini hivi sasa imeshuka ama imepanda hadi kiwango fulani uh, mambo ya utalii inaendelea kupanuka uh, mwaka hii ilikuwa challenge lakini ukiona hasa uh, vista senyo walikuja walikuwa bado ni wengi uh, na tunatarajia tukienda 2018 hiyo itaendelea um, tunaona uchumi itaendelea mpaka karibu asilimia sita uh, ikipanuka na tunaona um, sekta ya utalii sasa inaimarika uh, wageni uliona waliingia juzi kwa wingi sana katika wale wanatakuwa kwa cruise ship na ile hata kwa uh, kwa ndege na tuna tumeweka mkakati ile thabiti kuhakikisha kwamba uh, utalii inaguza inaendelea kuimarika katika 2018 na, na mwaka kuja so tourism ni kitu ya maana kwa sababu inaleta kazi mingi na inaambatana ina na ile mpango ya tunaenda tuna uh, mambo ya manufacturing ndio sasa mambo ya kazi inapanuka katika katika nchi Neno lako la mwisho kwa wakenya ambao wanakusikia. Uh, yango tu ni kuwatarajia uh, Christmas njema. Uh, najua tulianza jana bado tunaendelea. 
na mwaka ya 2018 ile itakuwa na nafanaka na tunajua sasa taguzi imepita na tunataka sasa tukwambie wa Kenya tuanze tuendelee na kazi mm-hmm. e, vile tunajua wa Kenya ni watu wa bidii sana na najua wakati wengi nyingi sana ilichukuliwa na 2017 katika mambo ya siasa lakini sasa tumewaacha hiyo nyuma 2018 tufanye kazi vile tulikuwa nafanya mbeleni na tutahakikisha kwamba uchumi ita, itapanuka Asante